Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Addison Green talking about the latest details on this upcoming winter storm that's going to probably leave much of the area covered with some type of winter precipitation coming our way as we go forward in through the timing of Sunday afternoon in through Monday morning. We'll go over those watches and warnings in just a moment. But when this system is out of here, it would have left potentially in some spots up to half an inch of ice and for some of our northern counties, two to four inches of snowfall. Once we get the chance for seeing the system leave us, we'll still have to deal with icy and dangerous roadways and the chance of potentially pipes bursting due to the potential record cold coming our way as we make our way into the early portion of this upcoming work week. So if you haven't had the chance to get out and about and prepare your household, prepare yourself, make sure you do so today because today is the last day before that system comes our way for Valentine's Day where it will not be feeling quite lovely out and about if you wait to the last second to take care of any plants you have outside, pets as well. So well as perhaps check in on some of your friends and loved ones, make sure they are nice and safe and sound and warm and also your pipes as well. So the four P's right there, people, plants, pets, and pipes. Going through your day today, it's mostly cloudy to overcast, very small chance of seeing some light drizzle coming our way of high getting up to 38 degrees. And then for tomorrow, yeah, temperatures not really budging all that much from the low to mid 30s. So as you do step outside, and if you're not too familiar with dealing with this type of cold, here are some ideas as you can layer up as you are going to step out your doorway. Right now, the air is feeling more on the chilly side. So all you need right now is just an outer layer and maybe uh, one or two layers on your body as well. Long sleeves as well as warm shoes. All the shoes, perhaps, you're going to need to have them on the warm to waterproof side of things. As we go in towards tomorrow and into Monday, temperatures will get colder. So you definitely will need that warmer hat as also maybe two to three layers of clothing, gloves needed as well. And you have to talk about some waterproof boots getting tossed on. Now, extreme cold will come our way going into Monday night into Tuesday morning, where you're going to need that warm hat and face covering like a scarf. And you should also wear that face covering if you're going to any buildings as well. An outer layer, like a thick jacket that's wind and waterproof. And also talk about on top of that, about three layers of clothing, gloves, as well as those waterproof boots will all be needed, especially if you're having to take care of anything that uh, may have gotten uh, drenched and now has frozen over by Tuesday morning. You're going to want to make sure you are well prepared to not get caught off guard with dealing with those elements out and about. And one of the big concerns we're going to be dealing with across the Houston metro area is freezing rain. And that happens right here for you. We'll describe this graphic as we have precipitation falling from up aloft where the air is trending colder, below 32 degrees. So it's frozen precipitation. It falls into a layer of shallow air that's roughly uh, maybe about a couple of hundreds of feet to maybe a mile or so thick where the temperatures will be trending in the upper 30s to the low 40s. So above the freezing point gets a chance for that winter precipitation to melt. So from snow to rain. Then as that rain falls down into colder air at the surface, only about a couple hundred feet or so, you're going to be seeing that rain either hit the surface and freezing on contact, which would make it freezing rain, or it falls through a slightly thicker layer of cold air at the surface, in which case it gets the chance that rain droplet to put a nice icy coating on it, and then you get sleet. Look like little tiny uh, pellets bouncing off the surface is what it's going to look like. That's not as big of an issue as the freezing rain. Freezing rain is a huge issue because of what it can do to the roadways as it can make them very slick and treacherous and also overnight leading into black ice concerns. Well, you won't be able to see that ice, but you'll feel it, especially as the steering starts to get a little out of control as you're driving. Winter storm warnings are up in these pink highlighted counties, including counties like Montgomery County, where you're going to be dealing with from Sunday afternoon in through Monday afternoon, where the ice accumulation could be up to around a quarter of an inch, snow to roughly two to four inches. Everywhere else in the blue highlighted areas, that's a winter storm. Watch where it'll likely be changed over towards a winter storm warning as we get closer towards that time frame. But nonetheless, from Harris County, south and east, you won't be seeing as dire of those situations as north and west of Harris County. But nonetheless, everyone will be seeing that winter precipitation fall on down. For the time being, though, the skies are relatively quiet. We have most of the overcast skies of a northerly breeze coming on down. There is a few pockets of drizzle being reported south of Houston. Go out there towards the west. You see a little pink, a little blue, a little swirl in the skies going on out there towards uh, the Big Bend. That's where that storm is just starting to take shape. And as it makes its way closer towards the Gulf of Mexico, it'll tap into that moist air 
toss it into the cold air at the surface and get our winter storm underway. You can see the storm system as we take an x-ray scan of the atmosphere right here in your water vapor imagery loop. There's a nice little swirl, swirl light there going on just south of the Rio Grande River. Further to the north and west, we have another storm system we're keeping our eyes on. It will skip Texas as it makes its way down towards the Four Corners as we head in through Sunday night to Monday and then eventually to Tuesday morning. Past Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday, we're keeping our eyes on this swirl in the atmosphere right here because that Pacific storm arrives into Houston during the mid portion of the work week, which could give us a chance for another round of winter precipitation to come our way. So yes, it is quite a far distance away from us, but you can see how the atmosphere is all connected. A storm that far out could eventually swing over this way. Temperatures outside, uh, if the camera was working, we could show you how it looked outside. We have 41 degrees with overcast skies, northerly winds around 21 miles per hour, and we do notice that the pressure is rising, so high pressure is building on in, but it'll be short-lived because then the pressure will start to go downhill as that storm system starts to approach us. Galveston was at 40 degrees earlier on. You've warmed up just a touch, 41. We have 37 at Bush, 35 in Tombow, 31 in the Brenham area, and 37 degrees up there in Cleveland. Throughout your day today, much like yesterday, don't expect to see the sun to shine on down. We got lots of cloud cover around. Temperatures, as a result, will remain on the chilly side. Only going to get up into the upper 30s to maybe 40 degrees, but look at that time frame, 11 o'clock tonight. So, for the most part, we're trending on the cold side all day long and all night long as well. As we see those temperatures starting to go down, coming on up for tomorrow morning. Then they're going to go way down as we make our way into Monday and next several mornings after that, especially Tuesday morning. That could be one of the coldest mornings we've experienced in several generations. I think the record low could possibly be broken very easily. I think it's 13 degrees set back in the late 1800s, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's something astonishing right there, how cold that air will be by Tuesday morning's time frame. So if your pipes are not protected, you could be dealing with some big concerns at the chance for those pipes bursting by Tuesday morning. Current temperatures across the country, you can see where that cold air is located right across the northern plains and it's just going straight on down the plains as opposed to how it normally is. We see that cold air kind of expand out south and east going eventually towards say Georgia and up towards Mississippi. For the most part, straight on down. So if you know anybody out there in Florida, yeah, that's the place to go. Maybe you want to book a flight, perhaps, because it is definitely much milder by comparison than how it is right here in Houston, where we're sitting at 37 degrees. But at least we're on the positive side. It's 20 below in International Falls, 6 below in Minneapolis. I used to live up that way a couple of years ago, and that's a whole new level of cold I don't really want to experience again anytime soon. But you can see that when you factor in the wind chill values, we have lots of minus up across the central and northern plains. Much of Texas is on the positive side, although Amarillo is feeling five below zero right now. As we make our way further to the north, you can see that source of that cold air right up across the northwestern portions of Canada, where temperatures in Old Crow are 31 below. That's not factoring the wind chill. Prince Albert is 40 below, and that cold air is going straight on down as we have a big blocking area of high pressure over Greenland, and it has to allow everything to be forced down straight down across the plains instead of being allowing that jet stream to go up and to the north and east. Let's look through your time frame, shall we? For Sunday, throughout much of the morning hours, it will be clouded with light pockets of mist here and there. Then as you make your way towards the evening hours, now the precipitation is starting to fall as we're getting moisture tossed off the Gulf of Mexico and brought inland. You can see that pink highlighted area right there is a little wintry mix of freezing rain and sleet. It's staying there for the time being with snow up towards Waco and in towards Dallas. As we head on past 9 o'clock and in throughout the overnight hours, we are going in towards the temperatures trending colder now, and we're bringing that cold air down towards the surface, bringing that rain snow line closer towards the coastal areas. And now the Houston metro area, the Beltway, the Loop, is dealing with the potential of freezing rain overnight Sunday into Monday morning. So if you do not have to travel, do not do so because that is going to be some treacherous conditions you're going to be driving into. North and west you go. We have snow now coming down in Bryan and Austin. And also what we're talking about here as well is that you have had a window wintry mix, freezing rain coming down. You're coating the surface. Now you're putting snow on top of it. So if you're driving through some snow, you won't see that coating of ice at the surface. And you may tr try to make a sharp turn and there goes your vehicle right there. So you definitely have to make sure you do not drive on untreated roads and try and stay home as much as possible. Going past two, uh, the morning hours of 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., now we're seeing that rain snow line making it all the way down towards the coastal areas of Brazoria County. It's still rain, but cold rain in Galveston. 
the entire Harris County metro area right there for Houston is seeing freezing rain still coming down while snow is just starting to push in towards our northwestern corner, taking over across much of Montgomery County. The area of low pressure in question just south right here. It's going to make its way towards the east. Going to be taking that cold air with it as well, dragging it behind it and changing over now any lingering wintry mix of freezing rain and sleet to all snow potentially going past 7 a.m. Monday morning with snow just starting to wrap up across the I-35 corridor and they'll eventually see it wrap up for us here during the early afternoon hours. So heading on out and throughout Monday afternoon into very early Tuesday morning, we're going to start to clear out the skies, but that's when the big cold air starts to settle on it. And if you do have any surfaces that have been coated in ice, maybe some snow as well, you're going to want to make sure you clear that off or clear it out before we get in towards Monday night, because anything left over on any surfaces will become frozen like a rock heading into Tuesday morning with those temperatures going down potentially into the single digits. So Tuesday morning, the winds are becoming lighter. The skies are getting clearer. We just had a recent freezing rain to snowpack come on down. All three of those ingredients leading towards the ultimate potential combination of our temperatures getting very cold for Tuesday morning. For Wednesday's time frame, remember that system I was mentioning to you up across in Alaska towards the Aleutian Islands? Here it is. Starting to make its way down across portions of southern Texas in towards the border of Louisiana. This time, though, the rain snow line is pushed a little bit further north and west. Brian, Austin, unfortunately, are getting another round of that wintry mess. But if we see this situation unfold as it is currently right now, we're going to be bringing a little bit more warmth coming on in from the Gulf of Mexico, which will allow our precipitation to fall as rain. It'll be a cold rain, but still, it'll be just liquid precipitation, not frozen. And then the system is making its way out of here past Thursday afternoon. The cold air I was mentioning, you can see right here coming on down across from Oklahoma into Texas from Monday into Tuesday morning, where temperatures in Tyra will be three below. That's the air temperature. Dallas, one above, Abilene, two above right there. And you can see portions of uh, southeastern Texas right there getting on that cold air. This one computer model says 10 degrees. We're forecasting a, a temperature of 8 degrees. We're thinking it's going to get a little bit colder as you make your way in towards Tuesday morning's time frame. Then as the next system comes our way for Wednesday, you can see temperatures will be trending above the freezing point potentially as moderate air gets brought up from the Gulf of Mexico. Cold air getting a chance for being dislodged further towards the north. So that's some good news right there potentially coming our way. Now, this is just one computer model. This is the Euro model, but it is forecasting the potential of some areas north and west of the city to pick out four to six inches of snowfall. So this is one outliner that we wanted to show you. Around Harris County, Maybe about a coating to about two inches. South and east, barely a coating coming your way. Here comes the real issue. It's the frozen precipitation, the ice. And the GFS model right here for you shows that the heart of southeastern Texas, right through Harris County and the Houston metro area, could pick up, on average, about two-tenths of an inch of, of freezing rain and sleet. That could be hazardous and dangerous for anybody trying to travel on any of those roadways coming on up for Sunday night into Monday morning. So just bear that in mind. You don't have to go out. Stay home. It's not going to be safe to be out and about. So this is a seven-day forecast you don't typically see right here across uh, this portion of the country. Look how many winter precipitation icons we got. One, two, three, four, five. Temperatures trending around the freezing point for tomorrow and then going downhill after that, we'll be seeing about four to five days consecutively of below freezing temperatures coming our way. So if you don't get the chance for clearing anything off by Monday, it will be get frozen like a rock for Tuesday morning and it'll stay that way in through Wednesday and into Thursday, where after Thursday, we'll start to see those temperatures get a little bit milder, getting up into the 40s with the sun shining on down and uh, hopefully we can say goodbye to this week, put it in the books and uh, get a chance for getting some nicer weather to come our way. But uh, yeah, we'll be keeping you up to date with all the latest information right here at KHOU. If you happen to have the KHOU weather app, that's a great source for weather information. You can go ahead, put it on your phone. You'll get push notifications whenever we get the latest forecast and send it out on the air and on the web. And we'll be coming back later on tonight. Meteorologist Blake Matthews will have more information to uh, divulge for you guys as we talk about this forecast still unfolding. And then we'll go into full coverage details for tomorrow's time frame. The whole weather team will be here Sunday into Monday, keeping you safe and sound. Take care.